Evening, this is Brett and welcome to my backyard. It is a hot one here in East Texas today as you can probably see by the clear blue skies we're having and I don't know if y'all be able to hear it or not but we got an ice cream truck patrolling the neighborhood somewhere and as hot as it is we might have to go see what they have going on today but that's not what we were doing out here at the moment. I was coming out here I want to make a batch of salsa this evening so I wanted to come collect a few tomatoes from the tomato garden. So I'm going to show you a few varieties that we have growing this year. And our first one here, this is my new one this year. This is my San Marzano. Now this one is an Italian tomato, famous tomato known for making tomato sauce out of. And uh, here's one I picked a few ago. I like these so far. They're real meaty tomato, real low moisture content to them. They're gonna be good. I may save these, not even make salsa with them, may make some sauce, but oh yeah, I gotta show y'all. This is my basket. I found it the first Monday this past weekend. Love it. Great for being in the garden. One of the things I have seen, I don't know if I made a video a while back about this, but we've been having fruit worms lately. Best method I've been using is just picking them off and occasionally you are gonna lose a few tomatoes like this to the fruit worm. And even though they've eaten on it, you could still, if you wanted to, cut off the good sections here. I usually use it as a treat for my chickens I have going on out here. They like it. Our next uh, tomato that we're gathering, this is another new one I've got going this year. This is a indeterminate variety. This is a, called the Abe Lincoln. Really good little tomato so far. We like the taste of them. But I'll tell you, I have to be honest with you. This tomato just keeps going and going. It is an indeterminate variety. Did y'all catch that? Abe Lincoln. I'm gonna be honest with you. Anyway, that jokes, I know. So here we go. Moving along to my Better boy. This is a real common one that you get in the spring. Lost your plant nurseries will put this one out. It's a fast growing. This is usually one of the first ones to produce out of the crops I have uh, of the bigger tomatoes. Usually your smaller tomato varieties will produce first, your cherry tomatoes and things. But uh, this is a good one. Always a good looking tomato. Good quality tomato here. This is a good slicing tomato for sandwiches. A little more watery so I don't use them unless I just need to for the salsa. My favorite one when I'm making a batch of salsa. Let's see what we got going on here. Here we go. This aroma this is a good quality salsa tomato here. A little less water in these than some of the others. So this is great for making the salsa. They're still good if you wanna have them for a sandwich or a caprese salad, wonderful. And then I have this one here that I'm still needing to look up. This is called a Rio Grande. And from what I have seen, they seem to be very similar to the Romas. I don't know if this being a Rio Grande, if this is just some Texas hybrid of that Roma, but they've been a really good one. They grow pretty well. And I'll tell you here in East Texas, you can look at the greenness of the leaves compared to my Roma when it gets really hot sometimes I start getting a little die back on the leaves I'm gonna have to do a good trimming through the garden this afternoon this one seems to survive the heat a lot better come on out here this is a new one I've grown cherries but this is a super sweet 100 still kind of sunshiny out here I don't know if you can see how many it has a good one, but I really like the clusters this one has. This is my beefsteak. I already picked the ripe ones on this one this morning. 
but it's a big tomato, a big meaty tomato. This one, one slice can make you a whole sandwich. And then I got my purple tomatillo I'm still waiting on. I want to make some purple salsa out of that this year. But, tell you what, I hope y'all enjoyed that afternoon walk through the garden. It's a bit hot out here. And like I said, I can still hear that ice cream truck. So I think I'm going to go cool off a little bit. See y'all next time.